Hello everyone! Welcome back sa aming YouTube channel. Ito ang The Dutch Pinay Couple. So again, nandito na naman po tayo para pag-usapan ang Civic Integration Examination. So hindi po tayo matatapos dahil marami pa rin po yung nagtatanong sa atin. Ayan. So ito po yung part 2 ng video na ano-ano yung mga commonly and frequently asked questions about basic Integration Examination. Ayan. So, para sa video na ito, meron pa rin po tayo mga questions. If you're interested, please click like. Mag-subscribe ka na rin kung hindi pa. And click the bell button so you'll get notified on our next adventure. And please keep on watching. So, yung una po nating tanong is, saan ka dapat mag-focus mag-aral? Ayan. So, one thing po na masasuggest ko is mag-focus sa pronunciation ng G and R. Dahil ito po yung talagang very pronounced sa uh, Dutch language, kagaya ng... Um, Goeiemorgen. So, kailangan nyo pong mag-practice ng mag-practice with the letter G and letter R. At sana po ay hindi sumakit yung inyong lalamunan. If ever, mag-take lang kayo ng ginger tea. <laughs> like, goeiemorgen, goeiemiddag, and goeienapon. At ano pa ba yung mga dapat kang mag-focus? Um, kailangan mo pong pag-aralan yung sentence completion kasi napakarami niyang example. I think tatlong daan po yung ibinigay na example. So, kailangan nyo po siyang i-memorize. Ayan. Pero kung nag-gets nyo na, mas maganda. Kung naintindihan nyo na siya. Pero kung hindi pa, i-memorize nyo po. And practice, practice, practice. Gaano katagal ka nag-aral? Well, medyo matagal-tagal rin po ako nag-aral. Siguro, lang mga lampas ng tatlong buwan. Kasi, nag-stay po ako dito sa Netherlands and na-stuck po ako dito. Supposedly, ay mag -e exam ako ng July. Pero, hindi po ako naka dahil na-cancel yung aming flight. So, nag-exam ako ng September. So, ayun, nadagdagan yung oras at panahon na makapag-aral ako ng Dutch. So, Depende rin po yun kasi meron po ako mga kaibigan na nag-aral lang sila for 2 weeks and nakapasa po sila. So, it doesn't matter how long you studied. Kung talagang gusto mo and kung talagang if you have the will, there is a way. Mahira po ba ang exam? Nung una, medyo iniisip ko po na... Siguro mahirap yung exam. That is why I really, really tried to focus on my studies. Nakapag-exam na po ako, na-realize ko na ah, hindi pala naman ganun kahirap. Yun ay kung talagang nag-aral ka po. Kung talagang, yeah, pinag-aralan mo talaga yung mga materials na makikita mo online. So, kung gusto mong malaman yung mga pinag-aralan ko, iiwan ko po yung link ng mga materials sa description box. Ano-ano ang mga requirements para makapag-take ng exam? Uh, kailangan nyo po na i-present yung inyong passport and then yung photo ID with the visa requirement. And also, meron din na health declaration dahil yun yung hinihingi ng BDO building sa embassy. Ayan. So, yun lang po. Tatlong papeles lang yung kailangan nyo kapag kayo ay magta na ng examination. Pwede mo bang i-share kung ano ang na-experience mo when you took the exam? Ayan. So, ano ba yung experience ko? Bale, yung exam ko po is at 11 o'clock in the morning. Meron pong tatlong schedule na pagpipilian. I think 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and 1 o'clock. Dahil nga ang examination ay inaabot ng one and a half hours. So, kailangan mong maging maaga sa embassy. So, from Batangas po, ay nag-drive kami to Makati and happily ay maaga naman kami nakarating ng Manila. So, nagstay lang muna ako sa sasakyan para makapag-review. They told me na you don't have to review on the day of the exam. Pero matigas ang ulo ko. So, I browsed. Kasi, print ko po yung mga materials na nakita ko online. So, 
Siyempre, binasa basa ko siya. And then, I went upstairs to the 26th floor. There, I was asked to wait. So, pang dalawa po ako sa mag -e exam sa araw na iyon. Kasi merong nag-exam ng 9am. So, they called my name po. And then, I just presented them my passport and the photo ID that I have. And then, pinapunta nila ako dito sa small room. Nandun lang din po siya sa lobby. Isang maliit na room lang po siya na merong glass window. Separation para sa examinee at saka po sa nag Babantay. Ayan. So, I went inside. They said na hindi mo pwedeng ipasok yung gamit mo, but I did otherwise. <laughs> Kasi wala akong mapapag-iwanan. And then, there's a headset and a computer. So, yun lang po yung nandoon. At yung headset is yung gagamitin mo para mapakinggan mo yung exam. And also, there's a mic attached to the headset. So, yun yung gagamitin mo to answer. And then, they also told me na I should talk a little bit louder and clear. Kasi minsan, hindi nag-register yung voice doon sa computer. So, what I did is I tried to speak and then I played it to hear kung maganda ba yung reception nung aking sagot. So far, so good naman po. So I did not need to shout like what the other said. But I just made sure na yung sagot ko, I can listen to it at clear naman siya or may intindihan siya nung mag-check ng exam. So, every time na matatapos yung each part, I will call the lady at the window in the lobby na tapos na yung exam ko and then she will set up the other part of the exam. So, hindi po siya yung tuloy-tuloy na exam. First part po ay yung speaking. I had 30 minutes to accomplish it. And then, hindi ko naman natapos yung 30 minutes even though nag-review ako ng nag-review like twice. <laughs> Nireview ko po yung aking exam for two times and hindi ko pa rin siya natapos because they said na if five minutes na lang yung natitira sa iyong time, mag-blink siya sa monitor and sasabihin sa'yo na, oh, your time is nearly done. Then she set up the reading part for me. Ayan. So for reading, again, we have 35 minutes to accomplish or to finish the test. And then I wasn't able to finish it. I mean, I wasn't able to consume the time. So for the KNS naman, 30 minutes and napakadali lang naman po noon kasi kailangan mo lang i-memorize yung mga questions and mga answers. And also, there are pictures there and meron din pong mga pagpipilian A, B, C, D. So, I find na yung KNS po yung pinakamadali doon sa lahat ng parts ng exam. And after the exam, I just called the lady and then she said that, Okay, you're done. Please go to the window. And then she returned to me my passport and the ID picture that I presented. Ayun. So, yun lang po yung nangyari doon sa aking exam. <laughs> Very simple. Wala namang as in pakaba or whatsoever. And what's nice actually is wala pong nagbabantay sa akin. So, I can just talk. I can just read the question for myself to hear. Kahit po ako ay naka-headset, naririnig ko yung boses ko kasi malakas ko pong binabasa yung exam. That will help as well. Ayan. Kasi kapag naririnig mo siya and binabasa mo siya at the same time, maririkol mo po yung mga question and ah, Mari remember mo yung mga sagot doon sa mga questions. Ayan. So, ayun lang po. Yun lang yung experience ko with the examination that I had at the Embassy of the Netherlands in Makati. And that's it! So, kung meron po po kayong question, please don't hesitate to leave the question in the comment section. <laughs> Yan. And susubukan po natin na sagutin ito sa susunod naming video. So, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you learned something in this video. Please hit like. Mag-subscribe ka na rin kung hindi pa. And i-click mo na rin yung bell button para ma-notify ka sa susunod naming adventure. And Please don't forget to share love always. Bye!